I'm Arlene Kim. I am a poet, and my book has come out with Milkweed Editions. It's titled, What Have You Done to Our Ears to Make Us Hear Echoes? And I'm so, I'm so very pleased to be a part of the Milkweed family. I thought I would tell you a little bit about how I get the ideas for poems, what happens to me after I get them, where I write them, where basically where all the cooking kind of happens. And um, yeah, let me start by saying I'm not one of those poets who has a routine, a ritual. I'm not super disciplined that way. The terrible thing about that is that it's hard to predict sometimes when things are going to happen. But the great thing is that it happens all the time, everywhere, and it can hit me at any time. I, I can do my writing anywhere. I don't need a set desk. I don't need a set place. But on the other hand, it can make me a, a terrible friend sometimes. I'll just be meeting with you and, and uh, I'll have to stop and scribble something down. Most of my writing comes at night. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a total night owl. And part of that is because, well, you know, this is a good time for me to, to go into my zombie fascination. And, and there are many reasons I could, I could tell you why I love zombies. But one of them is I like to imagine that scenario where you're the last person on earth and you're driving around by yourself or you're walking in a neighborhood by yourself and it's super quiet and eerie and you have that feeling that people were there, everyone was there, and now it's just you. And there's something about writing at night when I'm up at 2, 3, 4, 5 a.m. I did it just last night where yeah, I get that feeling. I create that it's just me and the zombies feeling. And maybe it's because it's just me that I, I have this urge to talk to myself a lot, but that's kind of what happens. I guess I talk to myself on the page. Sometimes I get fully formed poems in my head and all I have to do is write them down. It's, it's very rare, but that does happen. Most of the time, the the way that happens is that I'm in some kind of a class or it might be um, a, a town hall type talk or something like that. Someone else is talking and there's something about that that triggers stuff in my head and I've got to write it down. So that's very cool when that happens. Most of the time though, it's because I've been reading something else. I, I generally tend to be a magpie about sources and uh, influences, inspiration, all that kind of stuff. So I will read a book or hear a radio show or see a movie, something that a friend told me, and it'll end up somehow being something that becomes a poem in my head. It's, it's a totally love-hate relationship. I've been super jealous all my life of those people who will say, I couldn't live without writing. I mean, they clearly love writing, and it's, it's very valentines -y and, and hearts and chocolates and all that kind of stuff. I, too, couldn't live without it, but I... I I confess, I almost wish I could. It's so, it's, there's so much involved. It's so much work. I, and it's, for me, it's a very, uh, it's a very fraught process. Who knows how much of that I'm putting onto it myself. I'm not sure. But I think that there is something to it that's, that's super hard work. And um, it's not all muses whispering in your ear. So I do sometimes think, oh, if only I could really love and want to do something else. That would be terrific. But uh, no, I, I think it's, I'm always going to write no matter what. Yeah.